someone who we all respect, Marjorie Taylor Greene, says Kevin McCarthy is going to be a great speaker. I, I guess you'll have to ask Marjorie about that. I'm, I'm a fan of hers. I'm an admirer, but it's not something we see the same way. Lauren? Uh, well, you know, I, I've been um, aligned with Marjorie and accused of believing a lot of the things that she believes in. I don't believe in this, just like um, I don't believe in Russian space so, lasers. Are, are, are you a hard no? Space lasers and <laughs> okay. all of this. No, I, I'm just saying we, we need to actually have an inside conversation okay. and, and, and make sure that these promises are there. Get out your tinfoil hats and your ugly sweaters because Christmas has arrived early for the crazies in the GOP, and everyone is gunning for leader Kevin McCarthy as he tries and tries and tries to become the next Speaker of the House. And the fight over whether to support McCarthy or someone else has the whole party melting down. It turns out that he doesn't have an easy path yeah. to become the Speaker of the House again after uh, the Republicans narrowly took the House back from the Democrats. Uh, there's uh, an individual, uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene, the CrossFit, they call on her. Also uh, very disappointed in her, too. She has completely changed her position on everything. Yeah. Like, you know, she used to hit McCarthy. She was a super conservative superstar. She was a firebrand from Georgia, a very conservative county in Georgia. And uh, she has just sold out. Something's going on there. That was former Republican candidate Lauren Witzke broadcasting in front of what I can only assume is Grand. Grand Theft Auto's Vice City. Witzke joined with hardliners like Lauren Boebert to blast Marjorie Taylor Greene as a sellout to the MAGA movement after Greene announced she's backing McCarthy. Now Trump land smells a dirty deal. Whether it's blackmail or some kind of deal like, hey, I'll give you your committees uh, back if you get me elected as House Speaker. There's some kind of deal. Maybe it's more personal relationship kind of thing going on there. But there's something that's going on uh, between McCarthy and MTG because there is no reason that she would completely flip the switch and throw all her support behind McCarthy. Yeah, that was a former Republican candidate hinting that maybe Marjorie Taylor Greene is sleeping with Kevin McCarthy in exchange for her committee seats back. But as they say, once you've turned a whole party into a frothing mess of conspiracy theories, it's really hard to find the off switch when those conspiracies start to focus on you. But one thing is actually true. Marjorie Taylor Greene is throwing her influence behind McCarthy in the speaker's race. And she's not being very subtle about what she expects in return. In a New York Times interview back in October, Green had this to say on the record to Kevin McCarthy. I think that to be the best speaker of the House and to please the base, he's going to give me a lot of power and a lot of leeway. And if he doesn't, they're going to be very unhappy about it. Well, you certainly can't accuse Marjorie Taylor Greene of being unclear about her threats. There's just one problem, or rather, there are about 222 problems. You see, Republicans only have a slim majority in the House, which means McCarthy would need nearly every single Republican to vote for him to become Speaker. And most of them do support him, but not enough. And with Republicans who dislike McCarthy, well, they really dislike him. Take Florida sleazeball Matt Gates, who went so far as to criticize Donald Trump directly when Trump expressed support for McCarthy's speakership. And the way Gates tells it, Donald Trump's ability to move votes in the Republican Party isn't what it used to be. Take a look. President Trump is both whipped votes here, and he's come out and told Breitbart and Matt Boyle that he's actually supporting Kevin well, McCarthy. I adore President what about, Trump. What, what about, this is the Trump posse right here. I, I can't wait to vote for Donald Trump in the 2024 election, but if Donald Trump believes that Kevin McCarthy should be Speaker of the House, then Donald Trump is wrong. And Donald Trump has not always nailed it on the HR front. I remember having to fight against Jeff Sessions and Mattis and Rex Tillerson. So President Trump is the leader of our movement. He sets the vision, but Donald Trump has not moved a single vote. Right now, Kevin McCarthy knows he doesn't have enough votes to become Speaker. That's put him in the very awkward position of having to beg Democrats to cast their votes for him, an act that has enraged his Republican critics even more. And in case you were curious, no, not a single Democrat is even giving Kevin McCarthy the time of day. In fact, things are getting so crazy that Republicans are actually preparing a backup plan in case McCarthy goes down in flames. And their backup pick? 
none other than Kevin McCarthy's deputy, Congressman Steve Scalise. It would be poetic justice if Kevin McCarthy, who has wanted basically nothing but to be speaker his entire life, lost the gavel to one of his closest friends. Delicious. Scalise has refused to comment on the plan. That's a great sign that he's not only aware of it, he's serious enough to not give an outright no when asked. Republicans are on the verge of making history by completely collapsing before they enjoy even a single day as the new House majority. And even if they do elect a speaker, it isn't even clear that person will have the authority to control a party that's in open rebellion against itself. And old Kevin isn't getting much support from his friend Mitch McConnell, either. When asked directly if he would support McCarthy as the next House Speaker, McConnell gave what might be the most uncomfortable yes he has ever given, and then immediately rushed to talk about anything else. Do you support Kevin McCarthy to be the Speaker of the House? <laughs> Absolutely. I'm pulling for Kevin. I hope he makes it. Peter, 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 Peter McConnell. Yeah. yeah. If McCarthy fails to secure the Speakership, it would be the first time since 1923 that the House would need to hold multiple ballots to choose its leader. The fact that many Republicans are gleefully waiting for that moment is a clear sign to the American people that these jokers can't even pretend to be interested in governing. They're too busy setting up the circus tents. Unfortunately for the GOP, the American people are already getting tired of the freak show. If you made it to the end, thanks so much for watching. Please leave a like and consider subscribing. And leave a comment below so you can let me know what I should cover next.